Late your leaving was a flow of a
Thank you. 
sing Hosanna. for you even if you're going through a very difficult situation I'm here to let you know that he is a silent friend he says come back to me call upon me and I'll come to rescue you so amidst every trouble amidst every circumstance that is going on in your life I come to remind you that God can never forget you he knows your name he knew you before you're formed in your mother's belly he has a yes plan for you even when things don't work out in the timing that you want them to work out he says I'm there wait upon me because I am never late not too early but it comes at the right time you know many of us want God to work in our timing later you find out that things did not work out your way because you planned in the art plan of God I want you to step into the plan of God so that you can do and enjoy what God is talk for you ladies and gentlemen welcome to the gospel hype this is big Sam and I know these wonderful people have given you watch wonderful watching thank you you look so wonderful you look wonderful give me a high five come on now come on now come on now come on now I feel like dancing I feel like praising God tonight this is the day the Lord has made for you to rejoice and be glad I tell you what even when the devil raises a standard God will supersede that standard even when the devil brings sickness in your life the Bible says by the sticks that were have bidden unto him he is the best doctor I know he is the best physician I know he is the best banker I know even when death strike tries to shake you up he is the best loan provider he is the best banker and guess what he gives you without expecting back he gives you without expecting back he is the lover of everybody the Bible says for God so loved if he could love us and be willing to give his own son you'll be watching me right now and you're, think, you're thinking, you love your wife so much, you cannot lay down your life for her. You cannot. You love your country so much, but you cannot die for your country. I'm telling you, God will never, never send his word. And it comes back without accomplishing whatever it has accomplished. And this is exactly why we're here, ladies and gentlemen. Whatever you've gone through this week, whatever you've gone through this week, some of us have lost some beloved sorry but the Bible says he gives and it takes you know we get so crowned up to coil around things that we cannot control do you know that we we have a lot of things that we, we, we put our lives to but we cannot control them I love my mother so much but when she died I realized that her life destiny was not my destiny. But I loved her so much, I really wanted to die when she, was, she had died. But by the time a burial came, 
I say, hey, there's going to be a line between me and her. I love you so much, mama, but I can only give you a flower. I cannot come where you go. You know, we, we, we get so hooked up to things that we don't even have an idea how they started. I was not there when my mother was starting her life. I just simply got to understand that my mother is my mother. When I grew up, I got so much attached to it. But I didn't know how she started. How about if I let you know that you should start getting into things that you know. The Bible says, he knew you before he formed you. Now that is someone that you can rely on. Not to rely on a friend you met when we were already after high school. You met in high school and you're thinking, oh, this is my diehard. Excuse me. You know, you have worked all your life. At the age of 50, at the age of 30, you have built yourself a nice house. And you're saying, to, you cannot let your house go away from you. Your life is dependent on the house. Excuse me. How about the last 20 years when you're growing up? What happened? I want you to get to a line to understand that whatever that we coil ourselves onto, we cannot solve. And we need to understand and get into a realm of getting hooked up and rooted to the things that really matter in our lives. This is the Gospel Hype. Today is going to be... all of us. I'm so delighted about my good friend, my brother, my role model, my mentor, my, you know, Pastor Kaya is here. And, and, and we want to share this platform because, you know, I, I love people that are not selfish. When these guys come to visit his church, he says, no, this is not church material. This is national material. Okay, so we, we're going to listen to national material today. And, and, and you know what? God has given you breath and life that and a choice to make. And you've chosen to watch UBC National Television right now. So we don't not, we're not going to apologize for anything that God is going to do in your life. Some of you are going to walk out with your healing. We're not going to apologize for that. We're, some of you are going to walk out debt free. We're not going to apologize for that. Some of you are going to just kick into the praise and worship and your life is going to be changed. Maybe some of you, you, you you've been struggling to get someone to love you and post to you after this show. Watch the dunamis part that's going to propel you. And if you believe it, so it is. Give me one song. 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 And I just, if you believe it, if you believe it, listen to me. It is not for people that don't believe it. But if you believe it, the Bible says, as much as you have a faith, as little as a mustard seed, you can speak to the mountain. Now tonight, as you're watching this show, I want you to speak to the situation around you. And you will get that answer. Give me that song. Give me that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh God, we bless your name.
gentlemen, tonight we're so delighted to host my very own friend. I want us to put our hands together for the best and to introduce our best. You know, I, I always see this man and I admire the kind of food he gets because he never grows big. You know, I don't know whether he exercises too much. <laughs> and today he dressed like as if, you know, he going to meet up. You know, you're coming to meet the King of Kings right on my show. Come on, Pastor Kaya, come and join me here. Come on. Come on, come on now. Come on. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You look fabulous. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Turn around, man. Let everybody see this. This is nice. This, this is nice. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Now, to see this man looking like this, we just want to give... Congratulations to the lady behind her, not him, yeah. not him, yeah, no, no, not him, not him, not him, not him, not him, because this man got no sense of passion. But ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you the man, the woman behind this man. If she does not cook well, this guy's gonna be miserable. If this woman doesn't pray for her, for him. Yes. This guy don't have no nothing to say. Yes. If this woman does not dream of good fashion, look at you, man. Look at look at your shoe, man. For, for Lord, Lord Jesus, man, give me that shoe. Give me that shoe, Jesus Christ. Give. No, I, 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 I need. You see, I've realized that in church, that's the only place where we have pretenders. Mm -hmm. In church, people pretend. Mm -hmm. They pretend to be holier than the Holy Spirit. We're supposed to have a party time. Compliment each other. Man, you look wonderful. Just like you're looking great, I'm, I'm trying to match it up. Man, let me go back here. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this, is, this is beautiful Mrs. Kaya. My. How you doing? I'm doing well. You, you, you can hear the voice. You, <laughs> this, this, is, this is, oh my God. Just say hello to the people. Hello to everyone. We're blessed to be here. We go for high with big time. We love you so much. And, and tell them that Pastor Kaya is your responsibility. Oh my God. <laughs> Pastor Kaya is my responsibility. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Right. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough, man. How you doing today? I'm fine. We have taken some time without coming together, man, to church. Great to be here, Ken. Yeah, you can sit down, guys. You can sit down. Thank you so very much. You look so fantabulous. We've been waiting for you for over three months or something like that. <laughs> You know, I, 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 I must make a rolling. I mean, when I was coming up, I was hearing good sound, good voices. I, I'm, I'm very sure that the angels are not in heaven. They are not anywhere in any country. They're just right here. I don't know what's going to happen to other places. But thank you so much, and may God richly bless you. We're going to chat very soon. Pastor Kaya, tell us about your ministry and, and, and what's up with you now. Yeah, thank you, Big Sam. Thank you for having us. We appreciate God for this opportunity to be back to UBC, Gospel Hype with yeah. Big Sam. Uh, we love you so much. And um, like we said last time, I was here with Pastor Mark and Michelle Welks yeah. from yeah. California, United yeah. States of America. And um, like you promised to the nation, they will be back very soon. We thank God they're, they're back. back to Uganda. There's one thing that and, I must let you know, Pastor Kaya. Mm -hmm. This is the Pearl of Africa. Yeah. Nobody steps here and they're gone forever. Yeah, they always come ah, back. <laughs> ah. Live alone. Live alone the spirit in Uganda. Uganda's got good people. Yeah, that's true. You're when right. I go to other countries, that's true. Ah, people don't want to get deal with strangers. In Uganda, if you are uh, uh, if you're an outsider, they say come. Come, you come, feel come, at come. Home. <laughs> now live alone that. Mm -hmm. Where they come from, their avocados are very small. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm telling the truth. They are very small. They get them from Mexico and whatever, and they come there. When they see the avocado here, an avocado the size of my head. Yeah. You know, good bananas, yeah. good fruit. They love bananas. They love bananas. Do very much. They love bananas. They love my talking. I'm, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, sure, I'm gonna make sure that I give you a banana buffet. Oh. In, in Uganda, I've realized that. We abuse banana. We make, yeah, we make crisps out of banana. We make juice out of banana. We make pop out of banana. 
We, we can eat it roasted. You can eat it dried in the sun and you just eat. Some people eat it raw. Banana. The people who come from the other world, they even use it for wine. Banana. Banana. You want banana? No, has he, have you eaten some banana before you, before you came here? Like, Since you came, you've eaten some banana. No wonder you look good now. <laughs> All right, all right, let's go straight, let's go straight. Yeah, my name is Pastor Kaya Joseph. I'm glad to be at UBC again, Gospel Hype. Thank you, our viewers. And our church is Grace and Truth Church. We're on Salama Mnyonyo Road. We bless God for this opportunity. We have, we have the Jesus Festival yeah. this week, and the Jesus Festival is in high gear this year. It's an annual event, and during this, this event, we give back to the community. We show the love of Christ to the people. We help the poor, the orphans, and all of those people that are in need. We show them that Christ loves them with the little that we can extend back to them. And um, people get all sorts of things like clothes, like um, free medical care. Mm. Um, we also preach Christ to them. We tell them this is the love of Christ. Jesus loves you just as you are. If you accept him and receive him, he loves you. Some people are discouraged. They think, maybe I've seen the Lord. Maybe God doesn't want me. Maybe he's looking for an opportunity to kill me. We are here to tell the people, God loves you. Like Big Sam just said, yes, sir. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. The world and not the trees and the animals. When he talks of loving the world, he's talking of you and I. Mm, mm. So one tell these people, God loves them. That's the reason Pastor Welks and Mama Michelle are here at, with a team of four people from California. Mm. They're here to tell this poor God loves you. Mm. We're here to tell you people on gospel, gospel hype. We, lo we love you and God loves you. So we invite you to Grace and Truth Church. The whole week we're going to be there celebrating Jesus, celebrating the love of Christ. And we're here to encourage everybody in the Lord. Let the people know that God is thinking about them. God cares for them. And he's all yours. He gave his son for you. And even now. You know, Christ is not here physically. We are his voice. We're here to tell the people, God loves you. God loves you. Big Sam, the message is love. Love. Mm -hmm. You see, I, I introduced, when I was doing my radio show this week, um, uh, I introduced the theme of August. Mm -hmm. And the theme of August is love your neighbor, love your enemy. And I'm, I'm trying to tell people that some of us have gotten into a prison mm -hmm. because of what we have created in our hearts. We, 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 we hate our enemies so much that we end up in our own prison. Yeah. And, and, and I told a story and I say that there was a baboon and some monkeys mm -hmm. that used to stay on a certain field and there was a guy that used to chase them all the time. Mm -hmm. and because this guy had a maize field mm -hmm. so he did not want them to come and destroy and eat his maize. But they used to come and eat some of the maize that was on the outskirt of the garden, the field. So they did that every other time. They come and they time him coming, they'd run away. So this guy sometimes he sleeps there, they don't come, they wait for him to get tired of sleeping in the field, go back home as he goes, they come and they eat. eat the maize. 